In today's headline news, you may not have noticed that there are some graduates on the campus. Who are they? The fifth grade dairy graduates. That's who. Fifth graders begin taking the dairy course, course during the second nine week. Dare educate students in saying no to drugs, tobacco, alcohol, and violence. 99% of fifth graders graduated on January 17th, and there was a dare, with, dare winner from each fifth grade class. Dastina Oliver, Dejan Frazier, Joel Nams, and school winner Gerilyn Iceland. Congrats to fifth graders for choosing a drug-free lifestyle and, and from graduating from there. In PBI's news, the Great Top Dodge Tiger Race was on and popping in the cafeteria. The race was so close with first grade securing the win for the week of January 8th. But last week, kindergarten won that top spot. They used their inside voices, the monitor did not go on red at all, and the teachers on duty did not have to do the countdown. Have you noticed that there are more and more stars on the board every week? It looks like everyone is working hard to earn the TNT block party that Mr. Thomas will award at the end of the year. Everybody keep roaring. In other PBIS news, guess what? There's a tie for December bus of the month between Mrs. Rhymes bus 12-1 and Mrs. Johnson's bus 18-17. All I have to say is students, keep roaring and riding the Tiger Way. Congratulations! such as art, education, and agriculture. Fort Valley is home to over nine NFL players and Olympic gold medalists. This is Fort Valley <coughs> State University. Go Wildcats! And this week's teacher spotlight is fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Alexander. Mrs. Alexander's favorite color is blue, and her favorite movie star is Julia Roberts. When she was a child, she used to love visiting her grandmother. Her favorite hobby, well, like most teachers, reading is one, and her other favorite thing to do is gardening. Do you think Mrs. Alexander is team cat or dog? Well. She is team dog because her favorite pet is a dog. She loves frosted flakes and her favorite to pizza topping is pepperoni. Roar proudly Mrs. Ellison because you are in this week's teacher spotlight. Students, if you want your teacher, your teacher to be featured future on teacher spotlight, write a summary about him or her and turn it into Dr. Penny Williams. Pottsville Elementary School Scholars. We have another edition of This or That. This time it's chocolate or sour candy. Which one would you rather have? Well, Mr. Thomas likes chocolate. My favorite chocolate is a Mr. Good Bar. Does anyone have one? Which one will you choose? Sour candy or chocolate? This or that?
makes PPIS Wild is flexible. Flexible is the capability to adapt to new, different, or changing environments. We are flexible. We we go we go with the flow and don't complain with when things don't go as planned. This may include not getting upset when we have miss we have to miss a recess to make up homework. Let's practice being flexible this week. slap them because my sister will slap me and I and when I try to do my homework he will he will um, bother me too. Sign grumpy uncle also a pioneer student. In my opinion you should just tell your sister that the, that your nephew is bothering you and could she watch him and otherwise if you're doing your homework and he comes back to bother you again can't you just spank him? Well, no, I can't. Well, some he just can't spank them. I mean, he, the babies are growing up. They are curious. They are adventurous. They need to explore for themselves. I mean, he the baby is just trying to learn. Well, maybe the baby's just starting to walk, and he's following the uncle and everything. So, well, then what do you do? Mm -hmm. Well, you can just. Ask your sister, can you watch him while I do my homework? Then afterwards, we can play. Mm hmm. Or oh, just um, put a movie on for the baby on the TV and says he can watch it. Yeah. Well, Grumpy Uncle, this is it. Thank you for watching, dear Katie.